Great Show. I'm your host, Mr. Big Braids, coming to you live from a reservation somewhere. Take a look at BTC and the rest of the market got BTC coming at 18,231. Did you expect it to be that high? <laughs> a lot of people out there got wrecked on those shorts. Everybody was talking about getting some tippy action. I'm glad I started buying, especially right, right around the area when Kathy Wood started buying. I definitely took advantage of that low price action. Been waiting for this since November. Is it going to start getting exciting? We got the bulls pushing some moves up to the upside. As you can tell, I had this area of interest at 18385 We're at that point of interest right now. As you can tell, stopped it right on a dime there. <laughs> so, I mean, people call me crazy, but uh, uh, I see it the way I see it. And there it is. If we can make it to that 18385 area and start making some moves up towards that 19000 uh, it looks like the you know, got some little bit of theme and bulls could be aiming to that 19,000. Definitely getting excited. You know, with all the news that's going around the, the block, around the news feed, on the Twitter pages. Trying to get it out of that retail price action. Don't want anybody else to get be a part of this action. We got, you know, countries just doing a lot of, <laughs> just creating their own currency. Just converted straight over to BTC and that's definitely some definitely bush, bullish news to me and with all the you know market moving around could could get a rally up to the upside if we really start making some movement up over that 20,000 area it would be some decent recovery making some moves up to the upside on anticipation that the Fed possibly might be you know pulling back a little bit of the interest rate hikes and a lot of the stock market's definitely getting affected, but at this point, the way I look at it, BTC, the biggest bank, everybody's trying to make it. BTC, that's where we put the money at, that's where we put our cash at, and banks are worried. <laughs> they want to get a piece of that action, and BlackRock's coming along and uh, getting it bullish, take buying up all that price action, making sure it gets out of retail price action. When it when, when it gets up to like hundred thousand, are is it going to be affordable to anybody? Is it going to really be affordable to anybody? When it gets up to two hundred thousand, anybody? Uh, that that that's big dog money right there. Even this right here, you know, cheap for the big dogs. This is cheap price action right now. Just barely affordable for retail and that's retail is basically all of us that are under 10 BTC owned and you know at these price actions you know that's a lot of savings to get up thrown in there <laughs> but it's good to be up on the, you know on the overall I got you know funds across the board with some projects here and there and uh, I'm up I'm down I'm all around and uh, definitely on board and ready to go but I'm also ready to buy real low so from the history of what we've seen on the previous BTC bull runs to the upside BTC when it starts making that move up to the upside pulls from the market a lot of the altcoins start getting some lower price action that's when I definitely start looking towards that accumulation across the board on altcoins that I definitely would you know definitely love some uh, price action across the board <laughs> I was looking at this price action before I remember everybody thought I was crazy for for XLM at seven cents it was at seven cents this morning I was very excited I was like nobody believed me when I said it was gonna be at seven cents I was looking at it this morning there it was, <laughs> and KN got that seven cents as well. Got a lot of double O digits. I, I've been very excited over this because I've been waiting for this since November. You know, since then, it was it was hard. You know, I I I was sure that it was going to be hitting this price action. I had to go out on a limb. Nobody wanted to believe me, <laughs> but here we are. And uh, I hope a lot of y'all listened and saved saved yourself some. Uh, getting chopped up along the way because I you know I definitely kept myself from getting chopped up along the way as well <laughs> did a lot of DCA looked for all the good signs out there and you know you always gotta remember this is not financial advice these are my views and opinions on the market only and you always gotta do what's right for you so <laughs> buying way down at the bottom here is a lot better than buying right here unless you're a big dog unless you pump in that action right there but you know it's definitely getting making some moves up to the upside if we do get denied, could have some pull back down to that 618 at 17,390. Could get some sideways action over time. We'd be getting some gradual buildup, as you can see here. Had some little bit of leeway here. Sideways action, made some movement. 
sideways action, moving up, sideways action, moving up. It's been basically just making some decent moves up to the upside and then blew through that resistance working on this 18,385. So I'm definitely excited to see where we're going. I'm definitely going to start, I'll, I'll launch some videos in the morning. Uh, we're going to check out what this price action is in the morning and uh, we're going to be back here to take a look at uh, what's the next awesome altcoins that are going to be taking off. I got my eyes on quite a few. I got my claws deep into a lot. <laughs> so, so I've been loving the accumulation across the board, crypto and stocks. I'm here for the long run. So, you know, I've been riding this roller coaster for a while. So <laughs> definitely excited to see where we're going. We're going to get that TA up on, you know, whatever. We're going to get some uh, blocks going on here, five blocks at a time or whatever's whatever's making the moves up to the upside. Whichever one's getting exciting first, we'll start launching some videos, uh, possibly do some, you know, like some N NCT or some Jasmine or some whatever, ALCX, NKN, XLM, whatever's popping. So <laughs> I know we've had a few making smooths up to the upside in the past few uh, <laughs> few days, a uh, few altcoins just pop, making some pop moves up to the upside. And it's definitely exci exciting to see a lot of green across the board since we've been just used to seeing a lot of red on the usual. Every evening now it's been green green but we are at all-time low price action and uh definitely am <laughs> loving all those double low digits so uh we got shiba inu uh getting a little bit of love out there a lot of people saying that once shibirium gets uh uh launched that uh bone's gonna start making some serious movement a lot of people gonna be looking for that bone start moving got it at dollar 18 uh so that's one to keep an eye on as well so <laughs> Keep an eye on all that price action. Keep an eye on the news. We got a lot of stuff still going on in the news today. We got the Russia Ukraine scenario. We got China Taiwan. COVID kind of peeking its head out there. A lot of stuff going on in the market today. But definitely, definitely, you know, waiting on that Fed move to, uh, you know, basically announce that we're going to start, you know, start toning it back a little bit, getting these interest rate hikes down a little bit lower. We you know, we got our money back. That's what I want waiting to hear. Once that happens, I'm just waiting for some bullish moves at that point. But even in this market right now, you see that a lot of people are buying still to this day. A lot of people says junk, FUD, all this other crap that goes on. We had, you know, FDX found $5 billion, <laughs> $5 billion somewhere along the way. Misplaced, you know, it's, it's been busy out there. They got, they misplaced it someplace, someplace. <laughs> <laughs> five billion dollars is misplaced but you know definitely keep an eye on that so what's gonna happen now that's what I'm definitely excited about uh so you know was that bullish moves or was that you know just uh some <laughs> some news to read about it, you know feel free to comment about that but definitely excited to see where the price actions go and get up to that 10 minute area and uh you know definitely excited to get through some uh decent coins i'll do i'll do a few coins in the morning so for those of you that want some coins in the morning be sure to comment and i'll get them going for you so uh for those of you that are new be sure to uh hit the uh, logo and like and subscribe to the channel we're gonna keep the videos coming we've been doing this for you know since for quite some time now so we're gonna keep the videos coming following that price action up to the upside and once we get this money moving you know the show's just gonna get better and better so definitely looking forward to that definitely feeling positive today and uh as i do every day <laughs> i hope everybody's out there feeling the positive vibes as well let's cross our fingers and let's hope that we're back to making this money <laughs> <laughs> so for everybody and all the coins we talked about tonight, good luck. And you always need to remember this is not financial advice. These are my views and opinions on the market only. And you always need to do what's right for you. So you also have a good afternoon, good evening, good morning, and good day. Mr. Big Braids is signing now.